today's conspiracy theories, tomorrow's headlines. Most are still asleep and I ain't talking about no bedtime. The truth is not a Google search, you need to get your head right. The Greek goddess of illusion was called Media and I. I'm not a coincidence theorist, I look for thread lines. Smashing every deadline, no longer smashing red wine. Though I can hear the bells chime, it feels like the end times. That probably should have been smashed on uh. red wine But the kind of mind is foolish Obey and end up ghoulish Don't get used by instinct Take control and learn to use it Make a load of earnest music Earn a few quid, learn a few tricks Sure the truth is persecuted This whole world is pure abusive Know a bit about everything and everything about nothing Figure out my noggin while you put your house shopping You sit about watching while I dish it out Stop it, I don't mean to sound cocky I'm not even proud of it It's a second dish to me, just a minute out honest I don't even need to sound honest Never been about profit Everything but out on it You can bet your house on it Doubt I'll be out for the count when the sound and I'm down for the beat, no beat down I mean how long's it been, help me out I've been the only one who's held me down All in the mind, hell freeze now Still sick with it, healthy how Few bars down and the well freaked out I don't reach out, I seek out to speak out I'ma recount the reasons they beat out Hey, yo, good morning, good afternoon, wherever you guys are in the world. I'm your host, Baba Nine Devon Ponds. My name is Joseph Daniel Pena, and I'm chilling on the West Coast. Ha, you know, we got the best smoke. Oh, yeah, bro. This is Baba Nine Devon Ponds podcast. You know how we do. Hey, look at man. Today, we got some news for you. We got some cannabis news. We got some alien news. We got some science news, a little bit of conspiratorial news. All right, guys, you know what we're going to do for you. We're going to keep it well and balanced. We're not going to go ahead and be judgmental or uh, like one-sided with this. We're definitely going to go and, you know, go around the sun a little bit, visit all parts of the realm. All right, guys. So first and foremost, I want you guys to go ahead and visit my sponsor over at Boomer Boost. I've been using them for two years, and throughout this pandemic, they have helped me. I haven't been sick. I've been A1. My body is replenished. My mind is sharp. My soul is shining. To be honest, I wouldn't be in a healthy mood if it weren't for them. Look, they got organic supplements and nutrients and formulas to help you go get yourself what you need to boost your energy don't complain anymore this is it this is the answer use my coupon code 509 divine pines 10 off for 10 percent off your order thank me later and also you can go ahead and visit my hemp supply and promoter tweedle farms you guys over there need to get on them if you can't be smoking weed for job reasons don't complain this is the answer you can smoke this and you won't fail your drug test you can smoke this and you won't get that crazy head high you can smoke this and you will feel amazing they got a wide variety of terpenes cannabinoids and flavors they have edibles tinctures topicals bath bombs they got everything vapes man they got everything go ahead and hit them up tweedle farms forward slash 509 divine pines or use my coupon code 509 divine pines for 20 percent off your order thank me later and get high my friends get high you know why because the rest of the world is getting hot and you guys need to join them. Check this one out. So Germany has moved to legalize cannabis. This would be the largest European country to do so. On Wednesday, they approved plans to decriminalize recreational cannabis. A significant step and an opportunity for the North American industry to gain a foothold in Europe's richest and most popular country. See, now we can go ahead and uh, do cross-country shipping. So 
let's say we get big enough and the laws are fine enough, um, any grower over here could probably ship over there and make a lot of money. Germany's federal cabinet reportedly approved a proposal from the health ministry to legalize and purchase into possession of small amounts of cannabis for recreational use as well as its sale and production. The plan presented by health minister Karl Lauterbach would allow adults to purchase and possess up to 30 grams of cannabis for the recreational consumption. The government would regulate cannabis production, sale, and distribution as part of legalization as efforts. Lauterbach said at the PREF conference, according to Deutsch Well. Cultivation would be limited to two or three plants per person and sales would be limited to specialist stores. Advertising and marketing cannabis products will also be banned according to the plans. Lauterbach said the proposal makes for the most liberal legalization of cannabis in Europe as well as its most regulated market. The health minister has touted the legalization drive as part of of a safety-first approach to the drug that acknowledges the drug's continued use and health risk alongside the black market fueling, fueling it. He said the approach could serve as a model for the whole country of Europe, where only a handful of countries have decriminalized recreational cannabis and only one. Well, my bad, whole continent of Europe. Malta has been the only other country to legalize it. The framework marks potential boon for Germany's young cannabis industry, as well as North American firms already profiting from legalization and are keen to expand. Absolutely. Money, money, money. Because you know why? Things are getting easier. Hey, over here in San Diego, look, this is a, a big win for them. Um, this might be a future uh outcome for the rest of us county planning and development will take over cannabis business licensing from sheriff department so the sheriff departments don't want none of it they're handing it over to the county planning and development so law enforcement just don't want none of it anymore guys it's uh becoming so popular man it's just becoming normalized moving forward this awesome article. Israeli company Bioharvest Sciences is cloning cannabis cells with up to 12 times the potency. Using a bioreactor, a company in Israel cloned hemp cells to culture them into a powdery biomass that contains all of cannabis active compounds and can be dialed up to 12 times the potency. Not to be confused with the horticultural practice of cloning. Israel-based bioharvest sciences is cloning at a cellular level. One of the perks of this technology is the potential to minimize waste portions of the plant matter from the cannabis plant or waste that can be avoided using bioharvest technology. Cannabis plants are grown mostly just for the flower. The flower contains the critical trichromes, which are the source of cannabinoids, terpenes, and flavonoids. Bioharvest technology allows it to grow cannabis cells with 93% trichromes in its bioreactors. The biomass is not grown like a typical plant. Instead, it's produced in a bioreactor. We don't grow the plant at all. We grow them in a huge bioreactors in just three weeks, while regular cannabis takes 14 to 23 weeks. Our tech can also significantly increase the levels of active ingredients as a percent of the weight versus what is found normally in the plant. And gram for gram, the team at Bioharvest says their cannabis biomass require less water and resources than plants. Sobel and Bioharvest insist that the cells are not genetically engineered and that they're identical to cells found on living plants. So while the technology may sound far-reaching to the untrained ear, it's a great way to un avoid unwanted plant matter waste and increase potency. The biomass they produce is full of spectrum, containing the vir variety of phytocannabinoids you'd find in the plant. Now, I'm just thinking, um, this could be used for so much more like vegetables and fruits. And so they're making trees just grow more you know if they would put this on a tree they would make a tree grow more fruit is what i'm seeing our composition has significant amounts of both major cannabinoids such as cbd and thc as well as significant amounts of what have been termed minor cannabinoids the team is able to crank up the potency by tinkering with the conditions inside the bioreactor. By adjusting specific conditions to which the cells are exposed, we can create different desired compositions of active ingredients, meaning we can dial up and down the various cannabinoids compounds. The team does not revile proprietary technology, but they did revile 
they did provide a picture. So they show this picture right here, and uh, you see weed. Cool. Bioharvest Sciences team invented bioplant cellization, which is described in detail on the website. A plant is selected that contains important active phytochemicals, then they are cut into them small pieces and inserted into a petri dish on solid medium that contains nutrients. Like a plant, the cell needs light, oxygen, and nutrients. Then those cells are stored in the cell bank for perpetual production. They are bio-farmed, and when the biomass grows enough, it's harvested into a powder, and the powder can be used for different purposes. Bioharvest Sciences says that each gallon of water produces 50 times, 54 times more bioreactor material than plant material, and land requirements are slashed by over 90%. This system also enables producers to avoid contaminants and then natural degradies, um, wind, bugs, and stuff. So they state their trichromes have increased 93%. They can make cannabis and hemp far more useful than ever with a lower cost to the planetary resources. It is a wellness and sustainability solution from Israel that can provide a truly inspiring contribution to the world. They first started in 2007 when they derived red grape cells containing a rich complex of polyphenols, which is good for the cardiovascular health. Now, the technology that's coming out, it's just a blessing because it doesn't it don't seem like those guys want to harm the plant. They actually want to do good to it and see the most out of it. Continuing on with high times, cannabis had the highest tax revenue in Colorado and Washington. Colorado and Washington have earned $559 million from cannabis-related taxes. That's a lot of money. It's nearly half a billion. So they're earning a lot of money, it's, and it's becoming more popular than alcohol and cigarettes. And those things have uh, been legalized for how many decades? Well, cannabis has barely been legalized for how many years? Yeah, this shows you who's the real winner. Continuing on, new poll shows two-thirds of Americans support legalizing weed. The poll found that overall 68% of respondents support legalizing small amounts of marijuana for personal use. Cannabis legalization was supported by 76% of Democrats. 73% of independent voters and 50% to 52% of Republicans. Young people showed the strongest support for legalizing marijuana with 87% of those under 35 years old, while just 53% of those aged 55 or older support legalization. Two thirds support Biden's pardons, which is 69%. That's amazing. 25% thought the number of convictions pardoned was less than 1,000, while a while 21% thought the total was more than 10,000. 26% said the number was the actual was in the range of 1,000 to 10,000 convictions, while 29% declined to estimate. 54% of people said that legalizing marijuana will have no impact on the number of crimes to other drugs. 25% said they believe legalizing marijuana would increase the number of other drug crimes, while 16% said that other drug crimes would decrease as a result of cannabis legalization. That is true. The more cannabis you use, the less drugs you want to do. Continuing on, WNBA star Brittany Griner will start serving her nine-year prison sentence. Um which is being upheld by the Russian court and Russian law. So fuck them. They, it's just weed. It's just weed. We're not going to get into it. I, we just wanted to go ahead and update you guys. Brittany Griner, we're with you. Uh, we, we support you. And we'll, I really wish the best because that, that's bullshit. No matter who you are, where you are, it's just weed. 
continuing on though forget about weed for a minute you know because sometimes that shit leads to depressed and when you're depressed you want to take some mushrooms yeah well thankfully so many countries are legalizing it so many states are legalizing it now if we go over to the great jamaica they have this awesome product called the patu trip right here in this picture you see is patu box purple owl and a mushroom inside of it with so many people feeling the depression of the pandemic because it's bullshit pandemic you know what i mean it's just bullshit people want to look for alternatives and I'll tell you what, man, ever since I started uh, using psychedelic mushrooms and psilocybin about two years ago when this pandemic started kicking off, uh, I don't get depressed anymore. I don't I'm not sad. I'm not caught up in the drama of uh, the news or the negativity, the fear states that they want to put you in. I, I'm in control of my life and it wouldn't have been that way if it weren't for psilocybin microdosing. I, I microdose. I don't take like pounds of shrooms. I just take a little bit enough to get by enough to be happy. And, you know, it's been this way for thousands of years and uh, thousands of cultures. So, Jamaica is starting to have that legalized pot two box. And it's cool. You can just go and go to the store and get uh, some mushrooms. Thank me later. Now, continuing, we have this article from Essence. Olive Harvey, a predominantly black community college, is one of the first to offer students associate degree programs in cannabis studies. 81% of cannabis business owners and founders are white, and 10% cannabis business founders are Hispanic or Latino. Earlier this month, the Biden administration addressed to pardon all federal marijuana possessions you know, the ones that have devastated black and brown communities for a long time. And now, in 2022, there's a racial ownership gap in the cannabis industry, which is projected to be $100 billion. Man, that is a huge gap. But it'll all earn, be earned back real soon. Olive Harvey College has always been a leader. And now they're starting agricultural operations because of the exponential job growth in the industry and due to its norm, numerous upward mobility opportunities in the mainstream economy. Oh, yeah. So this is in Chicago, Illinois. Uh, well, maybe not Chicago. It's uh, Well, it says located on South Chicago's south side. So it is in Chicago. This is awesome. This is uh, providing a change for the cannabis community and we are with it because man more hispanics need to be leaders too and that just opens up the doorway for hispanics too continuing on with the positive news nasa ufo study team includes former astronaut scientists and more earlier this year they the nasa announced that they were commissioning a panel to investigate uf ufos or uaps which would cost less than $100,000 and take nine months. So they announced their um, investigators, right? And here are the investigators. Anna Maria Bure, Associate Professor of Computational and Data Science at George Mason University, research affiliate with the SETI University in Mountain View, California, research investigator with Blue Marble Space Institute of Science in Calif in Seattle. Federic Federica Bianco, Joint Professor of University of Delaware in Department of Physics and Astrophysics, the Biden School of Public Policy and Administration and the Urban Observatory. Paula Bontempi, Dean of the Graduate School of Oceanography at the University of Rhode Island and a Professor of Oceanography at the University of Rhode Island. Rhode Island. Reggie Brothers, Operating Partner of a and E Industrial Partners in Boca Raton, Florida, and formerly CEO and board member of Big Bear AI in Columbia, Maryland. Jen Buss, CEO of Potomac Institute of Policy Studies in Arlington, Virginia. Nadia Drake, freelance science journalist and contributing writer at National Geographic. 
Mike Gold, Executive Vice President of Civil Space and External Affairs at Redwire in Jacksonville, Florida, and previously NASA Associate Administrator for Space Policy and Partnerships. David Grinspoon, Senior Scientist at the Planetary Science Institute in Tuscan, Arizona, and a frequent advisor to NASA on space exploration. Scott Kelly, former NASA astronaut, test pilot, fighter pilot, and retired U.S. Navy captain. Matt Mountain, president of the Association of Universities for Research in Astronomy and Telescope Sciences for NASA James Webb Telescope. Warren Randolph, deputy executive director for the U.S. Federal A Aviation Administration, Accident Investigation and Prevention for Aviation Safety Department. Walter Scott, executive vice president, chief technology officer of the space technology company Maxar. Joshua Semitar, Professor of Electrical and Computer Engineering at Boston University and Director of the School Center for Space Physics. Carlin Toner, Acting Executive Director of the FAA's Office of Aviation Policy and Plans and formerly Director of the FFA's Global Strategy. Shelley Wright, Associate Professor of Physics at the University of California, San Diego Center of Astrophysics and Space Studies. So with that, you hear the team now it'll take nine months for them to collect data and they will report back so in nine months we'll have another report but how can we trust them how can we trust nasa when we see stuff like this Yeah, you've seen that. We've all seen hundreds of videos, montages about how NASA's faking it. So, what are they really doing? And what are those 16 scientists and investigators really doing? Who knows? But, from the deep. U.S. warship encountered you. S warship encountered enormous UFO black triangle emerging from sea before flying into space this is uh just recently actually three days ago so you guys heard that maybe this is why nasa is studying this because uh our military is getting fucked with huh continuing on or maybe it's bigger than this. More UFO hearings are coming as whistleblowers are called forward and legacy programs are verified by Congress. UAP whistleblower language could be signed into law in weeks and after upcoming midterm elections. It's also been confirmed by multiple sources that information relating to alleged secretive UAP retrieval and reverse engineering programs has now been verified by Congress. Public congressional UAP phenomenon hearings can be expected once National Defense Authorization Act 2023 UAP language is signed into law. Okay, guys, so big things are coming for the UFO game, UAP game. Over the next year, there is going to be a whole lot more information coming out. And I mean, like, we've already seen it uh, be released in the last two years. Like, all these freaking CIA files, like thousands, tens of thousands of CIA files have been released. Big things are coming, guys. Now, we're going to just browse through some quick articles now. Quick hitters. Battery tech breakthrough paves way for mass adoption of affordable electrical car. Researchers develop new technique that charges electrical battery in just 10 minutes. This is record breaking. This is a just 10 minute charge time. Wow. So this is going to change the electric vehicle game wow coincidentally right in time when they want to ban all these gas cars huh i mean i'm not really sure if i'm still a fan of these electric cars but hey man a 10 minute charge time 
can't freaking complain with that. Sign me up. Psych. <laughs> All right, guys. Next up, smart plastic material is a step forward towards soft, flexible robotics and electronics. Scientists have developed a new material that can change from soft and stretchy to hard and rigid after exposure to a catalyst in visible light. Huh, my girlfriend can do that. Doesn't take freaking scientists. <laughs> Inspired by living things from trees and shellfish, researchers at the University of Texas at Austin created a new plastic. Wow. I'm going to go hit up the UFO Garage Boys. They are right there. Hey, UFO Garage Boys. What's up, Ben and Joe? Hey, what's up with this freaking plastic? Go go get this plastic, yo. Go get rich from this plastic, dog. <laughs> All right, man. So this was uh, just published recently in the Science Journal. It's the first material of its type. Using only light and a catalyst to change properties such as hardness and elasticity in molecules of the same type has brought a new material that is 10 times tough as natural rubber and could lead to more flexible electronics and robotics. The ability to control crystallization and therefore the physical properties of the material with the apl application of light is potentially transformative for wearable electronics or actuators and soft robotics. That's true, man. That's so true. This, this is freaking dope. I mean, but like, I hope that they just use it for the good things and that they use it for the right reasons. Continuing on. Smelling in virtual reality. Smelling in virtual reality environment possible with new gaming technology. An older machine, so-called the olfactometer makes it possible to smell in virtual reality environments first up is a wine tasting game where the user smells wine in a virtual wine cellar and gets point at the guests on aromas in each wine is correct the new technology can be printed on 3d printers olfactometer was created in collaboration between Stockholm University and Malmo University, funded by Marianne and Marcus Wallenberg Foundation. So, the olfactometer, huh? You can start smelling, smelling the shit that's being talked by the other guys across the Call of Duty Warzone lobby. <laughs> oh, continuing on, guys. During sleep, one brain region teaches another, converting novel data into enduring memories. Using a neural network model, University of Pennsylvania neuroscientist Anna Shapiro and colleagues found that as a body moves between REM and slow wave sleep cycles, the hippocampus and neocortex interact in ways that are key to memory formation. So when you sleep, your brain teaches everything that you learn to the other parts of the brain. It, it organizes the data. It helps you wake up. It puts everything in order. But that's as long as you take care of your body. Eat right. Drink water. Get some proper sleep. Think positive. And I remember my article two weeks ago that I had talked about these scientists and psychologists from uh, AI learning have studied how 50% of our health is dictated by how we talk to ourselves so if we don't talk to ourselves well we don't sleep well and if we don't sleep well then we don't learn well and if we don't learn well then this article is bullshit to you but if you're true to the five and nine divine pines podcast you eat right you take care of yourself and you sleep good and you learn good hey that's how we do it over here Continuing on, video gaming may be associated with better cognitive performance in children, study suggests. Additional research is necessary to parse potential benefits and harms of video games on developing brain. But for a study of nearly 2,000 children found who reported playing video games three hours per day or more, perform better on cognitive skill tests involving impulse control and working memory compared to children who had never played video games. I'll admit, um, video games, when I have had, like, in my teenage years, I was fucking 
wrecking it on Halo, man. I was a 50, I was a general, I was in dubs, I was in Team Slayer, MLG. Like, man, I was fucking wrecking it. Lone Wolves, SWAT, Snipes, just straight up dominating it. Well, you know, during that time, I definitely felt like my motor skills, my cognitive skills, everything was enhanced. Like, I just uh, felt boosted. I mean, it could have been the UFOs or this genetic modification program for the, the you know, uh, but whatever. Like, I, I agree. Now, continuing forward. RNA origami enables applications in synthetic biology by the Arhas University Synth. Synthetic biology strives to achieve robust control of biological processes in order to create designer organisms for a variety of industrial, diagnostic, and therapeutic applications. Researchers have developed RNA origami sponges and CRISPR-based regulators for advanced genetic control of enzymatic pathways in microorganisms to improve production of valuable biochemicals. So, like, this uh, would be able to allow you know, certain parts of our body to be released, uh, to, to release en enzymes or, um, to release chemicals, I, I believe. Well, this will help medicine for sure, but you know, if they use it for the wrong reason, it can kill us. So we just hope that it, it's being used for the right reason. And with that, our positive news is through. We're going to go ahead and take a break real quick so you guys enjoy this state of mind. Gonna go far, that's what we on the run for, go hard Sipping gin while we sitting, spitting those bars Getting rich, got a vision, get the show cards Lot of money laying around cause we go hard Always go hard, spitting fire, see the sonar Hope they resonate with the vibe, feel like Mozart Really, I'm alive and my soul feel like most on That's what hoes are, feel explosive so I show art Yeah, I make art, sad to see people with no heart I work to replace all of the negative if I go far with it, I'ma show all of these bitches no complaining If you with it, don't you dream me, see the vision Need my energy, the mission, really take all my precision Every single day I picture where I'll be the day we get it Feed the brothers, feed the fam, I don't really give a damn I don't wanna get famous, I wanna lend a hand Give the cash and rubber bands to the people always standing On my side, always down the ride, say I planned it I'm the guy, like the supersized on the planet In my mind, I don't gotta try, already had I'll be doing damage, I was born a savage In my mind, I already died, living lavish Heaven is a state of mind, be glad if you have it Living in a simulation, be patient to grab it Universe will bring it to you if you ain't an average If you live an average, then Satan's bound to manage your life I'm just trying to tell you if you gonna roll the dice Gamble in your life instead of living precise I ain't perfect, but I'm gonna earn it no, it don't concern anybody but my person Lesson that I learn is that people are gonna burn Anything you do, they gonna pay the price Nothing nice come in life for the dipshits They just wish shit, never gonna manifest it Never catch me resting, short term blessings I just want my brain to work so I can write my next hit Ignite the blessings, manifest my life Never question a moment in my life I be knowing that it's meant to be This my destiny, all the rest of my life Really history, the day that I'm finally gone They'll be missing me, your position be The reason that I'm gone 200 songs done, I've been on the run I ride a wave, make a way, I'm the one I stay the same, but I'm changing a ton Rearranging my brain for the gains through the sun I've been absorbing the light, I could say that I won At least I'm conscious of what I'm doing, praying a ton Relay all the information, staying patient with the shit I write a hit just to get through all the shit I ain't a bitch, so I'll make it I ain't dealing with a prick, I'm finna take over the game Really, I'm getting in, I'm really glad that you're here to witness it I'm about to fix entire rap game You could call it magic like a trick Classic with the way I spit it It be clapping when it hits I be snapping on this shit I've been rapping, feeling lit I'm 
Feeling lit. Yo, yo, welcome back. All right, guys, we're going to continue on. Just run it straight through. Now, we got some, like, you know, middle news, some neutral news. See, I, I hit you with the positive news in the first three minutes. No. This is going to be, like, neutral news. There's just going to be a whole bunch of stuff that, like, isn't really, like, devastating too hardcore to you. But it is something that might be enlightening. But it's also filled with some, you know, drama. So it's just neutral. All right, guys. Hawaii couple charged with securities fraud over semi-sub watercraft company. This is just interesting. Um, normally, I wouldn't go ahead and talk about these things. But this is just a very interesting thing. So, this couple was indicted for allegedly defrauding investigators with fake claims of a watercraft that could submerge underwater. Um, they lied about a relationship with Governor David Ige, agreements with BlackRock, the Department of Homeland Security. They used money they raised from investors for personal gain, including luxury homes, marijuana, and a Mercedes Benz. Whoa. Whoa. That's just a whole bunch of fucking noise, man. Like, they were smoking a bunch of weed from lying about selling a underwater prototype vessel that they've been lying about for 10 years. Um, And they said they were friends with the governor, BlackRock, Department of Homeland Security. This is just a wild story. The couple reportedly sold securities for a company to investors across the country, including Pennsylvania and California, where they had been barred for selling securities in 2008 and 2009. So these guys already been fucking troublemakers, and they just, they shit the stick with this one. They could be charged up to 20 years in prison. Oh. You know, it's just like, there goes their life. They're already middle, you know, 39, 40. Yeah, they'll be out in their 50, 60. Something like that. The thing. Now, I'm going to show you what this semi-sub is supposed to have looked like. Here we are. For all my viewers at home, look at this. Semi-sub one. Looks cool. Just never fucking came true. Wow. That would have been awesome, though. Look at that. Be, being able to own that, though, imagine. So you could just, like, go underwater, a submersible boat. Not even a submarine, but, like, a freaking boat. Boat. This is cool, you know. This is, like, dope, dope. I would have loved it, but, hey, those guys are assholes for lying. Continuing on. Unilever recalls Dove. Other aerosol dry products over cancel risk for containing a contaminant called benzene, a carcinogen. That recall also includes Nexus, Suave, Tresemme, and Tigi, which manufactures the dry shampoos Rockaholic and Bedhead. The action calls into question the safety of more products like Johnson & Johnson's Neutrogena, Edgewell Personal Care's Co. Banana Boat, Bisendorf's AG's Copper Tone, as well as spray-on deodorants like Procter & Gamble, Gamble's Co. Secret, Old Spice, Unilever Suave. Oh, man. So, in May 2021, Valley Seer, a New Haven, Connecticut-based an analytical lab, discovered benzene in several of these items. P&G examined every aerosol product in its lineup after this finding, and the business issued a benzene contamination recall for Pantene and Herbal Essences dry shampoos in December. 
So there's some companies who don't want this either. Given what we've seen, it unfortunately makes sense that other consumer product categories like aerosol dry shampoos could heavily affected um could heavily be affected by benzene contamination. So you heard it. Do not use those companies. Continuing forward. Hair straightening chemicals associated with higher uterine cancer risk. So women who use chemical hair straightening products were at higher risk for uterine cancer compared to women who did not report these products. According to a new study of the National Institute of Health. So, ladies, do not use these hair straightening chemicals. Wow. Yeah. All right, guys. I mean, we can only imagine that if if these chemicals and these products don't say natural and they don't have natural things on them, it's going to harm you. Now, this uh, is interesting right here. The U.S. Department of Justice reveals charges against Chinese intelligence who are believed to have been swaying Hawaii and from being federally investigated. And 13 other people were arrested with them. So around 15 people were invest- uh, investigated and arrested recently for... Um, Inside information, uh, manipulation, and for fucking up our voting, our swaying on, uh, and our, 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 you know, um, marketing, internal laws, all this crap, right? They're just, they're just obstructing everything. They're kind of manipulating people's minds, changing, helping change laws, um, help do this and that. So, you know, that goes on everywhere uh, all the time in the politics, but now it's just being exposed. So this is good. Now, also something else that's amazing right here. Check this out. From the Epoch Times just this month. 19 banks to investigate. Or, my bad. Sorry. 19 state attorney generals to investigate banks for ESG styled commitment to the United Nations Alliance. ESG meaning um, social credit scores and stuff. So 19 state attorney generals have launched investigations of minor financial institution commitment into the UN convened net zero banking alliance. The net banking zero, the net zero banking alliance states that its members control roughly forty percent of the world's banking assets are committed and are committed to aligning their lending and investment portfolios with net zero emissions. So they want to f- destroy us uh, because nothing will ever be net zero. If it is net zero, that means we're dead and there's no agriculture, there's no life, there's no anything. No, yeah, okay. It's not going to happen. Um, this uh, Net Banking Zero Alliance um, supports starving companies engaged in fossil fuel related activities um, on credit and national and international markets. So attorney generals are getting involved with clearing out the demonic evil bankers how about that we'll just say it uh politely so 19 state attorney generals are investigating banks now for these this esg system and for them attaching themselves to a un backed um interest because that is not uh, american so they're actually so they're you know committing treason nearly um they're they're pledging allegiance to the UN instead of America. So the uh, state attorney generals are like, Hey, hold on, you know, okay. If you guys want to pledge allegiance, then we're just going to go ahead and, you know, put you on the block now. All right, guys, here's, here's uh, the States. 
Um, Arizona, Arkansas, Indiana, Kansas, Kentucky, Louisiana, Mississippi, Montana, Nebraska, Oklahoma, Tennessee, Texas, and Virginia. They are now investigating the banks through a powerful tool known as civil investigation demand. And this will make them describe their involvement with each global climate initiative, which they participate, including the date they first began, any promises, pledges, or other commitments you made to the global climate initiative, or any actions you made or took pursuant to, or consistent with such commitments, or your initial or ongoing participation and employees responsible for managing your relationship with each global climate initiative. Dang. All right. So they're really going to like bleed it out of them. They're going to make them show their hands. Not everything in the government is bad guys. Yes. I, I know, you know, like everybody, including me says some things that, you know, make people, not trust the government and we show some things but there is good people and hey we can't have this esg in our banks it'll it'll be the death of us uh it, it it's like they're trying to make us not breathe and call it yeah we're saving the the planet it's like wait aren't you killing off people to to actually save this carbon emission shit like well who who cares yeah, so they don't care about our lives. All they want is a fancy pocket. Now, um, this is a video I'm going to show you guys. Check this one out. Another week, another leaked pigeons. pigeons want so this is uh everybody's boys, Sad Garth. The session we just attended here at the Economic Forum. Fuck this guy. A sense of relief, actually, in your... You heard that his evil laugh, his crooked freaking head when he's all laughing. I want less souls on the planet. Ha 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 ha. But, and people think that he's a good guy. He, he's a Buddhist. He's like this yogi. He's all enlightened. No, he's just another shill. Look at him L telling, oh, I want people less. I want less people on the planet. Oh, God. All right. Let's continue. He's like, uh, we just don't need the people. And AI can uh, make people redundant. So you can see where these um, elitists are thinking. They're thinking in hell. They're thinking in demonic terms. You know, arrest them now. Now, this uh, article is interesting. We heard about that Boston COVID. Uh, oh, crap. We heard about that Boston uh, lab um, kind of story. We heard about that Boston lab story. I better watch my words. 
but did you hear about this uh, Maryland lab story? To develop a hybrid MP strain that is more lethal than the last MP strain back in May. Hmm. So you can see that these dudes are all cooking up their own little freaking virus in labs, man. This is just fascinating, am I right? Like, it's like, now they want to openly admit it because they're like, hey, well, if we admit it, the law of karma can't hurt us. Freaking flies around here. So, you know they mess around with uh, these viruses, making them worse and worse and worse. Supposedly better, but probably worse now continuing we have lethal injections of 18 percent cattle of an arm mrna vaccination killing them so all right that sentence i said was a little butchered 18 percent of cattle die immediately following mrna vaccinations oh my god this is from natural news much of the conversation surrounding these, uh, this shot is all about humans. But what about animals? Wow. So, you heard it. 35 of 200 animals died immediately. Dang. So, there's a lot of uh, animals being forced to be injected in, but in certain countries. And it's just killing them. Just killing them, straight up dying. And you, you wonder why there's a sudden adult death syndrome and shit here in America. It's not because of randomness, no, guys. And neither was Las Vegas. Check this one out. This is a 30-minute uh, video, but I'm not really going to play all 30 minutes. Um, you see this guy on the left. He's explaining on a draw board how forensic acoustic proof of the Las Vegas massacre shows that there's a second shooter. So I'm just going to browse it. I'm just going to quickly through. Because in our analysis of the audio files, and this is like an audio waveform right here, in our analysis, we have to understand that the bullets are hitting first, and then the, the rifle report is happening after. So this, this guy is uh, really in-depth. He's a professional. If you hear, and if you do that, you come up with... Yeah, he this guy knows what he's talking about. This was back in 2017, so be, a lot of people have known about the truth about uh, Las Vegas, how there was multiple shooters. Something crazy happened. I'm not really sure what happened. It might have been having to deal with a Saudi prince. It might have had to deal with space technology. Could have had to deal with Trump. Could have had to deal with something like Kennedy bloodline. I have no idea. I could be wrong on all of it. But we know that that Las Vegas night was just freaky night in front of a pyramid and just seemingly no one knows what or how or why things happen the way they happen um, just leave it at that hey what i found in interesting is this statement from the u.s food and drug administration statement from fda commissioner scott gottlieb and director of FDA Center of Biologics, Bi Biologics Evaluation and Research, Peter Marks, cautioning consumers against receiving young donor plasma infusions that are promoted as unproven treatment for varying conditions. So the FDA has told people to watch out for infusing young people's blood. Remember, uh, there's this huge push for taking children's blood now and due to science and health in the hospital and making it a youth serum check this out from cbc the vampire molecule scientists discover why young blood helps reverse aging so the fda w is going against this guys if you see these type of uh procedures and you hear about these type of procedures just don't don't let your kid be 
donating his blood to uh people who want to reverse their aging i mean like natural blood donation i'm sure that that's natural that's cool you know i'm getting your blood donated but what i'm saying though is like there's people who want to test uh sign their kids up for like crazy crazy stuff you know transplants uh with you know rich elite or maybe this type of stuff you know test test trials and stuff so yeah i wouldn't drink blood i hope you don't either this article from bbc the people who drink blood in the french quarter of new orleans John Edgar Browning is about to take part in a feeding, a medical procedure. He swabs a small patch on Browning's upper back with alcohol. He punctures it with disposable hobby scalpel and squeezes it until blood starts flowing. Lowering his lips to the wound, Browning's associate starts now lapping the wine dark liquid. He drank it a few times, cleaned it, and bandaged me. He said his blood was not as metallic as it should have been. He was very disappointed. Apparently, diet, hydration, and blood group can all make subtle differences in flavor. That's just freaking weird, man. Thousands of people are doing this uh, in the U.S. And it's just not a fad. For, um, I mean, in the 1500s, people were using blood as a medicine. And you know, the Bible talks about people using blood um, as, like, going to hell and stuff. So, like, there's, like, there's a history to it. It's not just something new. Blood is a medium between the physical and spiritual realm. It was used to treat epilepsy. Um, it's, it has, it can, has like this attachment to your soul. You know, the people who do this, they, they want to hide, um, and they're just not trying to be found. So we just don't hear about them or know about them, but they still exist, man. These people, these people still exist. This is uh, crazy. Some some of them are looking for psychic energy through this. And some are looking for physiological boosts. It's, uh, it's fascinating. And it's a real thing. I mean, um, look at Marino Ab- Abramovic. And you look at these Hollywood music videos, like they're drinking blood half the time. You think it's like fake. All right, guys. I'm going to take a quick break. So sit right back, smoke some weed, get some water, and chill. I will be a couple minutes. You go ahead and enjoy this one. Doing the damage, new. I would do 
Everything that I said I would do, I gotta have it So goddamn it, I'ma be everything I plan to be Glad to see money coming my way, believe I'll achieve Anything I put my mind to, or at least I try to I'm avoiding my doom, manifesting my room Meditate to ease the flow, third I open, see the goal, the energy It can enter me, get me to feeling full, forget my enemies Dead to me, yeah, I proceed to go to a new dimension Got a mention, it's inside my soul Go inside, fuck the outside, never tell lies, show pride for belief, gotta keep the range wide So instead, I just write another hit Getting fried, rolling up, smoke another blunt For the good times, good times Bad times makes for the good rhymes So it never matters, I just learned No, I can't hide, thank God For every second was birth With the mind of an ancient soul Who's just waiting for the next sign I'm always watching Vision like a hawk, have them flocking when I drop, I'm talking, have them knocking The knowledge that I'm dropping I'm coming out the knock and I'm logged in That's the intuition, nothing wrong Doing what you feel is right Everybody got this Usually feel it in the night when I'm dropping knowledge I never even needed any college or college People telling people what they want I do not wish control over anybody Do it for the profit That's the reason that they push it Do it from the cockpit Cause they got the money Want the money on the mob shit on the mob shit But I know they ain't gon' make it Shit is poppin' At the end of time New age topics Revolutionary crusade cross Here we go To a new space Yeah, we enter in a new place Louis V on my shoelace Rolling with the blue face Yeah, I'm wondering what you chase Just another dude Caught up in the rat race Moving my pace a Lot of people looking at me sideways I chase future preparations Gotta go through my face Till I feel ready to rearrange it happen on a daily basis, tripping no oasis I'm so many people that I can't see through their faces And touch, so I'm reading minds, feel like I'm evasive, persuasive Cause I feel the vibe manipulation, I'm patient Yeah, I feel the vibe, then work to change it Manifestation, blessings is what I'm chasing Quantum physics, I'm about to take the time and rearrange it I play with reality, can't feel like I'm basic Most people shut it down, don't wanna embrace it Replace knowledge Yo, all right, guys. I hope you guys like that track. And we are back. Hey, look at this man claims to have seen interdimensional beings on security footage. Or did you just see him from my music video? How'd you guys like that? I, I, I'm cool with the video editing, aren't I? Yeah, hey, I just learned that it, it's simple. I know, I know. It, it was easy, it was, it was not much, but it was cool. And I like it. How do you guys like this now? Check this video out. So, man claims to have seen interdimensional beings on security footage. This has been all over the web. You guys see that, right? We're going to hit full screen. You guys see that? There's like two beings right there. One of them's like this creature and then it seems like another one's a man Ooh, yo yo that one is interesting right there man it, it seems like they're phasing through the dimensions right interdimensional yeah they're like partially in this dimension partially not next up you know it, it kind of reminds me of a little bit like this see over this last year there's been a whole bunch of crazy stuff just appearing on cams i mean i'm sure that these um cern portals and dark ng dark matter machines that the governments are turning on has something to do with it like they're just altering the dimensions of physics of our reality but hey that's a speculation that's a conspiracy theory so haunting nighttime figure seen on camera confounds texas city they call this the unidentified Amarillo object. Look at this. This looks like a dog man, like a wolf man. Looks like a something standing upright that looks like a creature, man. Nobody knows what that is. And it was captured on camera. Next up. Strange apparition caught on camera inside Fort Hood, Texas home. Check this out. This black shadow just formed in Texas. So the last picture um, from Amarillo Zoo was in Texas. Now this is also in Texas. Fort Worth. 
And it's just interesting, guys. Or Fort Hood. Sorry, not Fort Hood. Not Mount Fort Hood. Fort Hood. What's up, Chad Smith? What's good, dude? How you doing, my brother? Hey, check this out. So, Texas is popping with uh, entities, man. This is a third one within a year or two. Check this out, man. We got this hippo from the San Antonio Zoo. So, this is the third. Third mysterious creature that's been popping up. What is going on here, guys? You know, what is going on? What is happening? Is the veil to reality really thinning? Now, switching over. Look, we're, we're just going to get into it straight up. The, the veil to reality is fucking thinning. Now, when we see things like this, most people just overlook it, but not me. Check this out. This is Katy Perry clone malfunction. Look at her eye. Zoom. That's a motor. Oh, wait. Click it. Oh, we're still not going. What is happening here? Her. What is happening? That was just the awkwardest thing ever. Am I right, guys? Now, look at Fembot. Now, you might just be thinking that this is from an Austin Powers movie, but it's also depicted in another series called The Bionic Woman. So, this idea of androids, android women, is not something new. You know, I'm going to go ahead and show you in just a few different ways. You know, uh, look, at, you know, we see things about Britney Spears uh, going crazy. Well, isn't it just interesting that Britney Spears is in Austin Powers and Austin Powers is actually a derivative from the six million dollar man. About a USA uh, U.S. Air Force Colonel Steve Austin. So, that's where the name Austin Powers comes from. Austin is rebuilt with superhuman strength, speed, and vision due to bionic implants and is employed by a secret agent in the fictional U.S. government. So, the bionic woman follows the cyborg, the novel Cyborg. Now, these bionic women are the fembots. Now we know Hollywood and their secret way of revealing the truth. Now, when we see things like this and we hear about Britney being a clone, and then now Austin Powers Gold member is a direct reference to cloning and bionic implants and androidism and you know, um, Creating a human that is not, you know, uh, naturally born through a vagina. How about that? You know, Britney Spears is right here. We're just going to show a few seconds so I don't get flagged. You know, she she definitely looks very dollish. You know, like r super, super human, dollish. And, and all of this comes from the book Cyborg. Which is a very fascinating novel written by Martin Kadeen. Which is just um, interesting because it's a story about an astronaut named Steve Austin. Who experiences a crash. Has one limb destroyed. A blind one eye. And other major injuries. So, you know, when we hear about the astronaut crash that kills all these people um is it kind of maybe a possibility that somehow these dudes survived and they're being flipped over to uh bionics just you know because we don't really hear about most of these people but then we do see them come back later in life as a whole nother uh 
person, right? You guys know about all that. Like the six people who supposedly died in the Apollo crash or uh, whichever crash it was, they were found, uh, you know, living normal lives. Yeah. Okay. We know about that. Well, I do in the conspiracy community. I think you do too, if you're really with me. But if you're barely following with me in, you know, modern, you know, few months, last few months, um, last year or so, then maybe this is new to you. But yes, those Apollo astronauts who supposedly died, they were all found to be alive in like fake names, same person, same identity. Hmm. Who knows? Who knows what really happened? But check this one out, guys. We're going to go ahead and show you some MK Ultra glitches. This is fascinating. You know, when we talk about the robotics and the androids and the celebrities, we see that there is just something amiss. And I'm going to keep on showing you guys. I'm not going to go ahead and let this one die out. There is something very interesting with this uh, Hollywood. Here we are. Look at her. Boom. That I think again. Boom. You see that? Same thing as Katy Perry. That was just weird. The eyes went completely bonkers. Now, this is Lady Gaga. Trip the F out. This one is weird. This is, makes me think that, like, she's straight up possessed. Look at her. She can't even move, really. She's just like, where am I? What is going on? Oh. She's moving at like freaking one foot per sec. Uh, yeah, one foot per second, which is very slow. Not even. She's moving like five inches per second. Maybe not even that. What is this? Is this a cyborg? Is this MK Ultra? Is this someone being possessed? Is this a glitch? Or you decide. Because I'm trying to open up some eyes. And just, you know, why these celebrities are being called fake clones possessed uh yeah this is this is why how long did it take lady gaga to move five feet that was three minutes now check this one out guys this is beyonce doing her best hitler impression at the the berlin olympics you guys seen that video, right? Hitler's all cracked out and he's just swaying back and forth on meth. Like, hardcore. Beyonce looks like she's in a trance. Like, she, she's just high. She's, like, so gone. And I mean, I know because I've been high and so gone, but on like weed and stuff, you know, alcohol. And Jay Z is just normal. He's like, man, you know, he's 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 been drinking, he's been smoking. Check this out: two chains on the right. I mean, two chains is always high, but hold on, man, that dude got popular after changing his name to Titty Boy. But look at him. He's like dead. You know, he don't even flinch, bro. Look at Kevin Garnett, a, a, a tall dude who has some muscle. And he just walks off. Now, Mark Zuckerberg... Listen to this.
You heard that. He's like, you're human. And I was human. Um, I was just speaking to myself in the past. Look at this lizard. I think you see his sharp teeth right here. His, his reptilian teeth. See that? You see that? You see that little... I'm going to just show you real quick. I mean, there's a little glance. You can kind of see the, the the sharpness of his teeth right there. You see that little white thing? though. That is not a... a um, a gap that's the freaking the v of his his fang you can youtube the normal video and you'll see it better see right there look at that you see that bro you see that fucking fang Trip out. I'm gonna pause it right there. That is a fang. That's a vampire tooth. That is what we call a reptilian or draconian. Now we know that these dudes have existed. We know that these uh bloodlines have existed, uh these demons, they the fallen angels, the fallen angels have constantly said that they've been here through the bloodlines and that the you know these elites they reincarnate, they make uh worship to uh they do all this stuff. Look at that tooth. You can tell there it's a fang, that's a V. Look at that, my dude. That's just oh, that's just wicked. All right, and let's go ahead and look at this uh sweater. He's all sweating. He's like, oh, he's sweaty. He don't want to do it. See, look at that. There, there. We see that again. Look at that vampire tooth. That's a fang. Making the world more interconnected. Hmm. And see the six pointed star. I see it. No, let's let, look at that. Look at that last picture of his fanged tooth right here. He's right. You can kind of see it, dude. And it's not even a joke. It's like right there, right in the open. Right there. Check out. That's that's pointy. Oh my God, that's that's the work of a demon, a Nephilim, reptilian, something among those lines. There's no joke. If you are denying it, you are denying the truth. It's like they knew the weird symbol, like for the Illuminati. Now this ain't really an MK Ultra glitch. See, Courtney just gets a phone call, and uh, she she literally just says, "Oh, I I can't talk anymore." Yeah. So that 
is a quick MK Ultra glitch. We're gonna go ahead and shift over to Shapeshifters caught on TV. Check this one out. This is freaky, guys. Like Halloween. You see that? You were at a place and you saw somebody change their religion to another religion in the temple of that religion, and the father was the priest there. What would you think? Did you hear his words throughout the whole thing? He said, "If you seen one person change a religion to another religion in their church." And that person was the father or priest. What would you say? So he's pointing at himself. He's like, she's trying to show, trying to tell people. As previously mentioned, most alleged reptilians are identified by facial transformations, including notably the eyes. In one video taken from the BBC program, Antiques Roger, an unidentified person oddly stares at the camera. Further, his eyes appear far larger than normal. Well, those have some black slits to them. Another transformation revolves some around interesting, in interesting things. NBC News reporter Isaiah Carey this, supposedly swallowed a grasshopper during one take. This is, uh, uh yeah, yeah. crazy. Exactly this is crazy. Reaction were merely a distraction away from the tongue. Bizarrely, Look at this. To be too large and odd color Look at the, he, he says it's a grasshopper, but it's not. Look at this. You heard that, right? So there's the tongue, and then he goes, Bleh! like with this weird noise. He he sucks like a like a reptile tongue. It sounds like a reptile tongue. He's slipping back up. And in that video, it's like a slitted tongue. It looks like a snake tongue. Whilst the majority of reptilian videos only show a minor malfunction, a few actually contain a full transformation. In this controversial CCTV video, an unknown person walks towards an alley, stops, and is replaced by a larger shadow, whilst the original body remains in place. This is some weird stuff right here. I don't know what what is going on, man. Now, this next video is is really something to think about because I hear about this all the time. It's intriguing video filmed last September in Mexico. A shapeshifter appears to take the form of their boyfriend. Look at this dude.
According to this conspiracy theory, those in politics are merely reptilians in disguise. One example of this is Chicago Mayor Brian Emanuel. In September 2012, during a press conference, viewers noticed that his eyes seemed to transform. That I think are very, as I said, respectful of our teachers, does right by our kids, and is fair to our uh, taxpayers. The issues that remain are minor. The issues that remain are minor. Meanwhile, in this video, former Secretary of the Treasurer, Timothy Geithner, appears to cover up an eye malfunction. You know, I kind of just looked like what Katy Perry went through. She was trying to touch the side of her eye to make it go back or to for the engine to start working again properly or something. What? Further, on June 15, 2010, US General David Petraeus appeared to faint during a Senate hearing. Interestingly though, theorists believe that at one point, his face looks completely inhuman. An arbitrary timeline, and the best way to... So, for people wondering how these people might be getting out of shape is because of things like adrenochrome. See, that, that might be like a, a vial to help them remain their human look for X amount of time. But then, you know, uh, they might, you know, fuck, that face looks creepy. You see that face right there. Before the dude steps in and covers it up. And it's changing green. The eyes are even extending, the eye ports. So he's definitely changing shape. And even the woman right here on the left, she has this weird face. So, wow. All right, man. You know, those dudes are definitely, you know, in the politics, they're, they're definitely on, like, this other shit. This, they're, they're in another realm. They're doing some crazy things. And for everybody who wants to know a little bit more, I'm going to go ahead and finish this up, this article. That talks about some good movies to watch at home. So this place from Brazil has uh, put together a list, I think Australia or Brazil, and they're going to go ahead and give you um, a little bit of description and a little bit of um, information about like cloning movies and robotic movies so in this list number one that they claim is contemporary 
contemporary social realism, though set in or very near to the present or presented as realistic. One, the boys from Brazil. Two, Jurassic Park. Three, the lost world Jurassic Park. Four, cloned. Five, blueprint. Six, godsend. So what they classify as future social realism, though set in future but presented as realistic. One, the sixth day. Two, yesterday. Three, the island. So what they present as science fiction, science fiction and fantasy is one, Judge Dread; two, Neon Gen Genesis Evangelion; three, The Fifth Element; four, Alien Resurrection; five, Star Wars: Attack of the Clones; six, Star Trek Nemesis; seven, Natural City. What they classify as comedy is one, Sleeper; two. City of Lost Children, three, Multiplicity, four, Austin Powers, The Spy Who Shagged Me, five, Austin Powers and Gold Member, six, Replicate, seven, Clone High. And of ten other movies that are rare and they just uh, did not rate well. One, Resurrection of Zachary Wheeler, two, Clone of Bruce Lee's, Three, Clonus Horror. Four, Anna to the Infinity Power. Five, Creator. Six, The Cloning of Joanna May. Seven, Replicator, Clone to Kill. Eight, The Third Twin. Nine, Shadow Fury. Ten, The Adventures of Pluto Nash. And with that, my friends, you guys have a wonderful night. Don't get yourself cloned. God bless. Peace out. Meditating, analyzing everything I see, so I see new horizons. Took the acid, feeling blasted in my brain, so I've been sitting up inside it, thinking about the present and the future. I'm improving cause I am a trooper, never getting caught up in the loop. Got up out it cause I found the truth. Woke up to a beauty of the day, yeah, the sun is shining, so I'm finna stay. Sitting, soaking up all of the rays, till I feel it surging through my brain. Like some burger sugar did a lot of cane, experimented with it, couldn't name all the times I did it, feeling like a fade. Yeah, I'm really, really glad that I let it go because i gotta be prepped for the time when the plane ride is a new norm so i know i'm gonna stay high blaze on the ganja feeling like i make my music go to another level while i take off i can't ever stop this fell in love with it fit like a glove so i'm never ever done with it so now i'm about to rip another beat hey one day i'll make a million in a week yeah shooting for the top spot feel like i'm a hot shot like i really got a chance with it i will not flop somebody gonna make a dance when i pop off gonna have all the bitches taking all the tops off i've been feeling like i'm really gonna kill it for the rest of my life so i've been staying focused in my soul i've been feeling like a million dollars so i know that everything is really getting closer yeah no posers only been hanging with the ones i've chosen only all the people that are living in the right way because they spending every day growing yeah. Yeah, no whole shit coming in my life and then leaving in a moment. That's the shit I'll never let into my life again. Cause lately I've been feeling like I'm golden. Never showboat, I just showcase all my music that I made this far. Always knew that I could be the one that would get this far. Now I'm right here looking in my mirror, trying to figure out if there's any more fear. Cause I'm getting rid of it all, yeah. Yeah, I'm getting rid of it all. Meditating, analyzing everything I see, so I see new horizons. Took the acid, feeling blasted in my brain, so I've been sitting up inside it. Thinking about the present and the future. I'm improving because I am a trooper. Never getting caught.